Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien on Sunday, June 20th, 2021, Father's Day. And I want to do a uh, commentary on Professor Glenn Lowry of Brown University, who was quoted on, I believe it was Fox, and he was uh, saying about his reaction to Juneteenth and the reparations for slavery. So, Professor Lowry, as an alien from another planet, I finally found a human that thinks right, and that's you. Uh, boy, you, you opened my eyes here. I, I thought that everybody had watermelons for brains on this planet, you know, especially here in America. Most Americans seem to like a lot of watermelon because they keep it on their brains. And when you were, uh, I think it was Fox that you were talking to, uh, saying that, you thought that reparations would be a disaster for the United States. And yes, and that uh, Juneteenth was a fatal, you know, disaster for African Americans. And by the way, you're an African American. From a distinguished University of Brown and an economist to boot. Wow. My hat's off to you, Professor Lowry, because, wow, you seem to have the light bulb on. And you seem to be an Interian and not a Terran. I'm an Interian, by the way. A planet 3,000 years from here. Light years. Okay? And I like what you said about Martin Luther King, that everybody lost. Yeah, everybody's lost his vision from 1963. And in order to be a human race, you must have to give up a lot. And you were saying that. And yeah, unfortunately, it's going to fall on deaf ears too because the African Americans are going to be very mad at you for saying that reparations are going to be a disaster for the United States. But it is going to be a disaster for the United States. Uh, if you listen to this, Professor Lowry, reply to the alien, Daniel DeGracia358 at gmail.com. And here's a question that I'm asking you whether you agree with it or not. I would say that, and as I told people before, and this goes to you, Mr. Lowry, that you should get together every one of a pigmentation that you have here. Black, white, Asian, Latin, and the different factions. He, he, she, he, she, uh, he, she's, and what's it? And the different factions of religion and political. But basically what you need, and I will just eliminate those uh other factions and just say you need the pigmentations and the shehees, hishis, and whatsits. And this is a question you got to ask. Are you willing to give up your pigmentation and your orientation? And what I mean by give up, okay, understand that that term does not mean give up. It means you are willing to say, from this time forward, we are humans. Our ancestors came from Africa, Asia, South America, and wherever. Our preference is whatever it is. This is not a binary society anymore. And that's what you look at the society as binary. You look at everything as binary on this planet. And that's a problem that's causing you headaches. Also, Professor Lowry, may I suggest, and let me know with an answer, what you think of this statement that you put out there for everybody. African Americans, Asians, Caucasians, Latins, he, she, she, he's, what's it's, Muslims, Christians, Hindus, and all of them, and say, quote, we, as of this date, 
and let's say, for instance, uh, January 1st, 2022, are not accountable or responsible for the deeds of our ancestors. But going forward from, say, January 1st, 2022, are responsible for ours and our descendants' way of action. We are one race, the human race. Therefore, when you look at somebody coming towards you and he has a different color, that means his ancestry was from the continent, whether it was Africa, Asia, North South America, or anywhere else. Or he's a gay, a lesbian, or a he, she, or what's it? Their preference, preferential, whether it's gender or sex, is their business. We therefore adhere that we were once a binary society. But in order to occupy everybody on this planet, we have to be a multinary society, not binary. Because the way you do your society here, uh, Professor Larry, you humans view everything through a binary eyes. Yet you use base 10, which is kind of funny, huh? How can you have a society based on base 2 and try to run it on base 10? I don't understand it. Do you? You're an economist. Ask for me why your social structure is based on base 2 and your uh, society is based on base 10. That doesn't make a lick of sense here. But you should make a statement like that, that we are not responsible for the deeds of our ancestors. And going forward, our, us and our descendants are responsible for deeds we make, and we must correct them. See what I mean? And we are a human race. There is no such thing as dash African Americans. There is no such thing as Americans, and there is no such thing as Afro. Americans, or Asian Americans, or Latin Americans. There is a human being, one planet, one race. And yes, that's what Mr. Martin Luther King was trying to say, and I'm glad that you pointed him out in your article. The question is, are any of your fellow brethren from the African American side going to give up being black and going to give up the reparations issue. The same with the uh, uh, Caucasians, the whites. Are they going to give up being white and just be a Terran citizen? Same with the Asians. There's no such thing as a top dog here. But it's up to you guys. It's going to be a tough road. Because if you decide to go this road, it took us Five of your generations to get it done. Five. To get the anger, the disillusioned, and everything out of the way. But you guys live on hate. Can you do it? This is a question I have for you, Professor Glenn Lowry of Brown University. This is your favorite alien. Good day. <laughs>